So here I've drawn a line segment from the origin to the point negative seven, negative five. And we can think of the angle that was created as rotating from the positive x-axis in a counterclockwise direction till we hit that line. And that's the angle that I think you're probably calling theta here. And if we drop a perpendicular from the point negative seven, negative five to the x-axis, then we call this angle right here a reference angle. And any trig functions of the reference angle will be the same, have the same values as the trig functions for the angle theta. Uh, if we label the sides of this triangle, paying attention to the signs, this, this segment has a length of negative seven, this vertical segment a length of negative five, and the hypotenuse of that triangle by the Pythagorean theorem is the square root of seven squared plus five squared, which is 74. So that's the little triangle you want to draw to help you answer this question. Uh, I put the circle here just for emphasis. You don't have to have the circle. Uh, but if we want to find the cosine of theta, that's the same as finding the cosine of this reference angle, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of theta or the cosine of the reference angle is negative 7 over the square root of 74. Now, uh, some teachers might require you to rationalize the denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the square root of 74. So we'll say that the exact value for the cosine of theta is negative 7 radical 74 over 74. The cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of the sine function. Well, sine would be negative 5 over radical 74. So the reciprocal would be radical 74 over negative 5. And of course, we could just put the minus sign out front. And finally, the tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So negative 5 over negative 7 becomes positive five sevenths. And if you're familiar with the acronym or mnemonic device, all students take calculus. This tells you that in the first quadrant, all trig functions are positive. In the second quadrant, the sine and its reciprocal, cosecant are positive. And third quadrant, uh, the tangent, and its reciprocal cotangent are positive. And that makes sense because the cosine is negative, the cosecant is negative, but the tangent is positive in the third one. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped you. The key to this problem was sketching the reference angle and triangle and figuring out that the hypotenuse was the square root of 74.